All right, guys, on today's adventure, we got 15 to 18 inches of nasty snow fell. We're gonna hop in the Kubota. We're gonna clean up a bunch of driveways. We're gonna watch the sledge in action. But the first thing we gotta do is get this bad boy to where it's gotta go. So let's hop in, let's take her down the road and get to the site. All right, guys, let's go plow out with the sledge. We're gonna road over and we are going to another site. We are in a Kubota R530. That is a Sledge SDLG 918F. We're gonna head out to go clean up another site. I'm just gonna take you guys along for the ride inside. We gotta road these. Uh, we gotta go down the road a bit in traffic. Um, so, and if I sound a little bit off kilter, that's an actual term we used to use growing up, off kilter. Uh, that's because none of us have slept. I don't know what, what day is I think it's Thursday. Last time we slept was uh, Monday night. Let's hop in. Let's uh, I'm gonna flip this into time warp. We'll go down the road and get to the next site. It's a little bit sketchy. I hate going down these roads with these things. Alex has his flasher beacon on. We got all of our hazard lights going, but we're so wide this way. It just makes it. But sometimes it's easier to just hop out on the road, get to your next destination than trying to bring a trailer out. And do it. I thought that was like a hole <laughs> down to nowhere. You got a card? Yeah. Oh, you already got it? I slid out twice in this thing yesterday, in that one. Yeah, I came around that corner and it was just a little corner. I was like, hold it, it's starting going sideways off me. What are you looking at? Just check it for leaks because they got brand new driveways and uh, we don't care to leak on them again. Okay, hey, uh, Zach does not have that end done. Oh, he hasn't done that yet? No, he just went to grab a bite to eat. So let's start in that upper cul-de-sac.
of snow plowing in the world of snow, the last thing you want to do is park your car at the end of your driveway if you want your driveway plowed out the right way. Because where are we going to put your snow? Since we do all of the complex, we can do that out here. And that's how we even everything out. If I just did his yard and I didn't do his, you don't push it across. You don't make one person's snow another person's problem. Can't get these driveways to scrape as good as I'd like. Eh, I'm gonna try to go slideways on this one right here. Maybe I can get this to come up better.
Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. We are going to the next site for sure. Now, oh, what a beautiful day out. So, we've got in the city so far here 48 inches of snow officially. And, our, and that's a, up to the first week in January. That's in the last four weeks. Typically we get 54 inches all year. So we are six inches shy of getting more snow than we typically get up through the end of March. But we got two and a half months left to go. Bring it on, bring it, bring it, bring it on. Make it happen. Come on, we can do it! Oh, oh, my wheel is spinning. Watch this. I got a magic button. Magic button. Now everything is locked in. Oh, going low here. Watch my magic button. Magic button is activated. Now both wheels are turning. Everything is going. And I'm up, and I'm over, and there's no problem. Because I got my magic button! My mam hitting my magic button, my button's magic. And now I let go of my magic button. I like my magic buttons. Everybody likes their magic buttons. Magic buttons are the best. Although the sledge and the Kubota are both loaders, the sledge is actually 74 horsepower and the Kubota is only 54 horsepower, but the guys on the crew feel that the Kubota can outpush the sledge. And so Alex wants to show me how well that that diff lock actually works. And then I'll show you some of the fundamental things we've done to improve the traction and performance of each machine in just a moment. I think that proved the point. Yeah, I'd say you can do more, huh? Yeah, way better. Then I'll let you play in the Kubota if you want that, or do you want the sledge? I don't mind the sledge. I like that one. Okay. All right. So let's do one more pass and then sledge it. Sledge!
no, no. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Pat myself on the back, my pretty friend. Pat myself on the back. That has a diff lock button. The tires have been slaped and grooved, and they got 800 pounds of beet juice in them. Beet, as in the vegetable beets, because beet juice doesn't freeze. It's environmentally friendly, so if I blow a tire, it ain't gonna be contaminating the universe. No universe contaminating. My favorite machine. We all love the sledge, if you know what I mean. It's our favorite machine. It's our favorite machine. Let's play in the sledge. to get it to go all the way home sometimes. Come on, go baby, go. True Minnesotan fashion. Alex has the door on his loader wide open. He's plowing, and I look over and I realize well, mine's open too. And my window. We like the cold. Actually, we do like the cold. 